Just got here. Ready to crush this. I swear if anyone knows me, they know this bag right here. It's like Hermione's bag from Harry Potter. I lose everything in there. So we're here. UFC gym, we're gonna get a workout in. Four days out with a, a little commentary of my workout. So it was a shoulder and arm day today. So I wanna talk through a little bit of what I did and why I did it, just like the last format. First thing I did, like usual, I didn't get a clip of it, is my seated dumbbell press. I don't know why that keeps happening, but this is my pretty heavy movement for the day. So there's really nothing too fancy on this other than make sure you are keeping your feet planted firmly on the floor, get a good base of support and then make sure you're pressing all the way up, all the way down, and I go to about a little below 90 degrees. I don't want to go all the way down, but I also don't want to half wrap it either, making sure we're getting full range of motion on those. The second exercise was just a standing lateral raise, and the one tip I want to give on these is no matter if you're bringing the dumbbells in front of your body, keeping them at the side, you want to make sure that you're minimizing momentum by not swinging your body. So. Either way that you do it is not right or wrong, but if you're bringing them in front of your body, it's gonna be more of your traps are gonna be involved. But another tip on these is also making sure that your elbow stays higher than your hand the entire time. You're not doing this deal, bringing it up here. Bring your elbow higher than your hand. And also with any isolation movement like lateral raises or rear delt flies, you wanna make sure you're doing higher reps because it's really gonna be more efficient and help you avoid your risk for injury. So the first two movements mainly focus on the lateral head of your deltoid or the medial, yeah lateral, the one on the side. <laughs> Can't remember if it's lateral or medial. And then face pulls are mainly for your upper back, your traps, rhomboids, and your rear delts, and also a little medial delt in there. But the tip for these ones is make sure your hands are higher than your elbows like I mentioned before and then really squeeze your shoulder blades together and retract your scapula. So we're not we're not just coming out here moving the arms, we want to bring the shoulder blades back and keep them tight. The whole time at the bottom of, or at the uh, top of every rep, we're squeezing as hard as we can. The next exercise I did, bent over rear dumbbell flies with a pronated grip. So we're going over grips. This is supinated, palm up, like you're holding a soup bowl, neutral or hammer, and then pronated. So. That's what we did for the rear delt flies. And the reasoning for this is because rear delts are a pretty hard muscle to target and a pronated grip helps emphasize your rear delts. So any little trick to help emphasize your rear delts you probably should do because they're a pretty hard muscle group to hit. Also on these, make sure you're not bringing a lot of body swing into it using momentum because it is such a small muscle group and it's really hard to target. Make sure that all the movement is coming from your shoulder, nice slow and controlled movement. So after I did the bent over rear dumbbell flies, I did the arm portion of my workout. So I started off with dumbbell curls and easy skull crushers. So I always superset my biceps and triceps because they're such small muscle groups, it's not very taxing to do them back to back like that. So for the dumbbell curls, the tip that I want to give you guys is at the bottom, make sure you're flexing your tricep, getting that full extension. We don't want to do half reps. We're not doing bicep curls like this. We're all the way down, all the way up. And for bicep curls, make sure your pinky is finishing higher than your thumb. So what that emphasizes is the supination part of your bicep, which is just gonna give you a better contraction. Then on the easy skull crushers, I did, or easy bar skull crushers, make sure you're getting that full stretch in your tricep. And I like to go all the way behind my head and kind of touch the barbell on the bench and then extend all the way up on these. So then the next superset I did for arms was incline dumbbell curls and just a cable press down with I guess like a V-bar like this. And so the incline dumbbell curl, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, it works that outer head of your bicep which is <laughs> obviously on the outside of your arm. And one tip on these is make sure you're not swinging your arm, getting that momentum to drive the dumbbell up. You want to make sure you're keeping your arm back your elbow stationary during the entire rep, you're not swinging. And then for the press downs, I kind of push my butt back and get myself some room to go all the way up the cable because I feel like if I'm standing directly up, the cable just hits me in the face and I have to go like this to the side and it's not very comfortable. 
So push your butt back a little, kind of lean over, and then do your press downs. That'll be a lot easier. So for concentration curls, a little tip on these. I mean, if you don't know what a concentration curl is in the first place, pretty much you're just gonna bend over at the hips. You don't wanna arch your back and slouch. You wanna make sure your back's nice and flat. Arm is hanging freely like this, and you're just gonna curl up and inwards, kind of towards your chest. So just let your arm hang right there. We're not gonna be swinging across the body. We're not using momentum. We're using our muscles to move the weight. So just all the way up, all the way down. Flex the tricep at the bottom for a good stretch. And then for the overhead cable extensions, I used a seat because I feel like it's the weight has a lot less, lot less leverage on you and you can end up doing more weight. So it's kind of a win-win there. And same thing on these, I feel like I'm beating you over the head. But all the way up, all the way down. We're not swinging, using momentum from our elbows and shoulders. We're using our muscle, our tricep in this case to move the weight. So all the way up, all the way down. Uh, okay. All right, there we go, we're all set. So I wanted to kind of catch you guys up with some vlogging on how my week is going. Technically called peak week, even though I have mixed emotions about that because a lot of things I've heard from my coach and just my own experience is if you're not ready by peak week, there's really not much you can do about that if you're natural. So dropping water and a lot of that is kind of BS. While you can limit your water, you don't want to just dehydrate yourself completely because you're going to look super flat. Because any muscle or any water that is on the outside of your muscle is kind of making you look puffy. Once you start cutting water, the water also comes from, you lose water from inside of your muscle too is what I'm trying to say. So whenever you take water away from outside of your muscle, you're gonna look smaller because water has to come from inside your muscle too. For your body to maintain homeostasis, is a technical term, four days out. And I did some posing today, I'm feeling a lot more confident, especially just seeing how I looked today. Really, he just told me to keep doing what I'm doing because it's been working. So not too many changes there. I'm not too worried about what's gonna happen. But I am getting more excited and nervous just trying to see how the show's gonna go. Like I said, it's my first one. I've never done this before. So it's really just a learning experience. I'm hopefully gonna be able to have fun, encourage the people there. And it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be waking up probably 6.30. And then the finals, if I make it to finals, not saying that I'm expecting to, but if I make it to finals, it's gonna be at like 8.30. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. So anxious to get going. Four days out, things are coming to an end. Things are about to get real. I'm not too worried about getting hungry and binging because it's so close to the show. It's <laughs> literally right there, I can taste it. So. That's where I'm at. Just want to keep you guys in the loop. I'll catch you later.